masked man saw his true self in a dream. The next moment, all he wanted to do now was to search as quickly as possible, but he's been running around the house so long, he could not wake up. As soon as the picture turns, the man saw himself in his dream again. The next moment, he saw himself being killed by a monster in his dream. As soon as the picture turns, the man went back to the bathroom. At this point, suddenly the door opened slowly, the strange man in the quilt came in again, he began to look for men. The weirdo opened the shower curtain. The man stood behind, holding my breath, he discreetly planned to leave quietly. Suddenly, apparently this weirdo found the man, he turned slowly around. The man was furious, he poked the toilet at the weirdo. The next moment, the man was horrified, the strange man stood up terrible hands stretched out. The man turned and ran. Can't wake up? He had to get out of the room as fast as he could. He picked up a chair, banging on the door lock, and the weirdos are closing in on him. Finally, the lock was broken open. As soon as the man opened the door, suddenly, the man falls down again. He saw a man in a hazmat suit in front of him, and shut him in again, and again, the monster reached out to her. It turned out that the man was a vegetable, so I can never wake up, as long as I'm still breathing. The dream would haunt him forever. Some people think, even the vegetative family has to respect his life. Others believe that the family should. In the life of the vegetative sooner, this mental torture can be worse for relatives than death. On both sides of the argument, what do you think? 